where we're at. We're at one of my properties. This is a five unit that I purchased. This is a four unit here and the single family house right up here. So if you look up there, there's a single family and the four unit. So it's comprised of five units, a portfolio. Now this is a five unit that I personally purchased on this list by myself, no partners, for $100,000, $100,000. So what we're about to do, I'm doing my property manager a favor since I'm in town for the deal closes tour. I'm gonna to take a look at a property in which a tenant moved out. Now, beware, it may be a mess. All right, to say the least. But we wanna take a look at it, all right? And I wanna be able to take a video of it for my property manager so we have a contract in here and get it fixed up. That's the key thing about owning properties. Turnover, you have to do it quickly. When you tend to move out, you gotta make a quick assessment, do a clean out, so that way you can start marketing the property to another tenant. All right, so let's get the keys. But sometimes when you have evictions, uh, when you have properties, you just gotta evict the tenants. So this is the property we're gonna take a look at right here. And sometimes when you have to evict the tenant, they just do a bad job with messing up your property. But we need to get this key nonetheless. I think the key might be, let's see over here, it was in the property. Okay, so unfortunately guys were not able to get into the property because the lockbox right there, the key's not in there. So this miscommunication, the contractor has a key and the contractor is not here with us. So we're not able to get to the property, but no worries. We have a full agenda today. We're gonna to take a look at another property that a student of us, of ours, a client of ours is actually a painting on Maple. It's in the same area, so we're about to take a drive and take a look. This is a fourplex right here, four units. Hey, how's it going? All right. Good. Hey, I'm Juan, by the way. Okay. Okay, cool. We're home. Yeah, I did not get in touch with the last in the bathrooms or the kitchen. So those will need to be updated. In addition, I know some in the living room that were a little bit uh, loose from the wall and they had like open neutrals. So probably a good idea to have an electrician to come in and just update all the plugs that need updated. Usually that's not too bad. What is that, like 10, 15 bucks an outlet? Plus whatever the electrician's trip charge is. Oh, you stand up in there. Is that like to an attic or something? Uh, it looks like it's sealed off. Okay. Yeah, it's sealed off, which is good. Whenever you have um, like multiple units together, you want to make sure that each individual unit does not have an access panel there where they could get into somebody else's unit. I learned that from watching forensic fellows. Yeah, they learned the hard way on that. So yeah, anytime you guys buy like a group of rooms, townhomes, anything like that, always make sure the attic's sealed off from each of the additional unit. We're looking for any signs of moisture intrusion on the ceilings, especially since we're up upstairs. So this property is in way better shape than the last one. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. And it is probably not as old as the other one. All right. So you check all the doors, make sure they're even. Is that yeah. for like foundational? Um, yeah, we're looking for structure, like settlement. Like if the doors don't close, that's an indication that you've had some racking or heaving of the frames, and that's a structural issue. And plus, we want to make sure that they work too.
Just so you know, if you gotta come in with a locksmith and change them out. Okay, what we're doing, guys, right now, we're we're in investigating, we're inspecting, I should say, a property in which one of our clients is, is going to buy. So today, we're doing a number of property inspections, and while we were waiting for the rest of the team to arrive, our property inspector and our real estate agent, we just had a conversation with the tenants, and the tenants were great, a great source of intel. It lets you know about the property and property management, as well as maintenance. Talking about, well, they had a dumpster here, but they took it away. So we had to pull the trash to the front. Raccoons are tearing up the trash. There's more work I got to do. Plus there's trash all over the ground. In fact, the seller got sued by the local municipality for $10,000. Simply because he tried to save money by not having the dumpsters to begin with. How would I get that information if I'm not having a conversation with the tenants? So they're telling everything. Well, how's the property maintained? Oh, it's maintained pretty good. You know, the owner's pretty cool. You know, he does this, he does that. He just made one fatal mistake. Took away that dumpster. And I'm asking, okay, so what about the other units? Oh, they're all occupied. We all like each other. We're all talking, blah, blah, blah. It's just one vacant unit, but it's a nice neighborhood. It's quiet. I'm glad my kids feel safe to invest here. And this is in the C area, by the way, because most people think, C area, section eight. Oh man, they're gonna be a pain in the butt to work with. Oh, they're gonna be a pain in the butt in your property. Oh, they're gonna destroy it. That's not the case. They're still good people, right? They might just need some public assistance. There's nothing wrong with that. But she pretty much gave us all the intel. So that's one thing I always love to do when I go to properties. Just have a conversation. Don't go there with a pen and pad, ask and interview questions, but just pretty much ask them about property management and the state of the property and management. You know, sorry, the state of property and property management and you'll be good to go. Okay, so we just took a look at this vacant unit. We're gonna meet with the rest of the team, our property inspectors, and then we're gonna head out because we have some other business to take care of.